Year after year, Samsung uses two different chipsets inside of their flagship smartphones. In countries like the US and Canada, people get a Note 20 powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 865 Plus, whereas in most other countries, you're getting Samsung's own in-house Exynos 990. Now, we already did the speed test between these two variants, and without giving anything away, there was a difference. So let's see if the same holds true when it comes to battery life. All right, we'll kick things off in the phone app, where after going on a one hour phone call, the two variants perform similarly, with the Snapdragon variant only doing slightly better, pulling one percentage point ahead. Moving on to the messaging test, each phone is texting back and forth with our automated chatbot, where once again, the Snapdragon variant does better, with it increasing its lead to a total of three percentage points. So as we head on to the email test, things aren't necessarily looking good for the Exynos. It's not a huge difference of course, but if this trend continues, it could add up to be significant. But at least in the email test, the two perform roughly the same, with the Exynos managing to keep pace with the Snapdragon. But that email test wasn't all that processor intensive. Things could be different here in the browser test though, where each phone is cycling through the same set of websites, loading each web page, and then scrolling through them a couple of times, where the Exynos variant's battery does indeed drain more, causing the phone to fall a another percentage points behind. Here in Instagram, we're not doing anything too taxing, we're just scrolling through the home feed like you would in real life, where one hour later, the performance was roughly the same, with the Snapdragon still showing a four percentage point advantage. Although as soon as we transitioned to the standby test here, the Exynos's battery percentage indicator did drop down to 55, so a 5% difference as we start the standby test, where 16 hours later, that difference only grows, with the Snapdragon doing significantly better this time, increasing its total lead to 8 percentage points. Now, I don't expect there to be too big of a difference here in YouTube. Both phones have their screens calibrated to 200 nits, and the speakers on both phones have been calibrated to the same decibel count. But for one reason or another, the Snapdragon continues to outperform, adding yet another percentage point to its lead. And now that we're in the gaming test where each phone is playing Alto's Adventure, things could actually get even worse for the Exynos, even though Alto's Adventure isn't the most taxing game out there. But even then, the Exynos does suffer more battery drain, with it using 2% more battery than the Snapdragon did to do the same task. So as we head into the maps test, the Snapdragon now has a double digit lead, which is significant in any comparison, let alone when these two phones are supposed to offer the same exact experience. But clearly, that's not the case, with the Exynos falling even further behind after an hour of simulated navigation. Here in Spotify, the Exynos variant has just 10% battery remaining, which after just 28 minutes into the test runs out completely, while the Snapdragon variant is still going strong with 17% battery at the time of the Exynos's death, which needless to say is a huge difference, enough for the Snapdragon variant of the Note 20 to finish the next 30 minutes in Spotify with 11% battery to spare, allowing the Snapdragon variant to make it to Snapchat, which is easily the most intensive test in this battery comparison where the camera, the screen, the microphone, and more are all being put to work, finally draining the Snapdragon's battery after 30 minutes, meaning the Snapdragon variant lasts about an hour of screen time longer than the Exynos variant, making the winner and the longer lasting version of the Note 20, the Snapdragon 865 Plus variant. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.